Hey guys, welcome back to some more Stoneheart gameplay. And I would like to get something up my chest. I will be taking a break for a couple of weeks. But do not fear. I will be back by the 16th. And do my uploading marathon once again. Since it will be the Christmas break in my country. And we have... A lot of days so yeah, I'm gonna spend it by YouTubing so yeah that's pretty much about otherworldly stuff so let us continue into my commentary so we have here our villagers working on a new house and that should be good enough for five people but we will do more to improve. Do not worry. Um, in the desert, you know, it's kind of pretty hard. It's a it brings a new experience to me, since I'm pretty much skilled using the ascendancy, and I will not. Well, I will. I will be excited. Why did I say I will not? But I will be excited for when they add the third race, the North Northman Alliance. So that will be cool because I like snow. So once they have that update, I'm gonna play it right away, and uh, you guys be the first to know when I upload that. Alright. Uh, oh, you want to sleep? Mother, come on. Stop hogging the beds. At least we don't have old people. And you know what happened to them. Anyways. Um, so far, there have been no threats. And I hope I won't jinx our village here. But, it is unnecessary to have a foot soldier doing nothing yet I will wait when the first enemies come but for now I shall continue growing my village and yeah so I'm gonna do more research on this race and search up some ways to survive better in these conditions Once, hmm, let's establish a goal here. Let's get a blacksmith to get a trapper. And since the desert is wide and open, that means more animals. So more game to hunt. And more game to hunt means more food and leather. And speaking of clothing materials we have lots of silk weed right around our area so we will capitalize on that and once our farmer levels up a few a few levels uh, we're gonna mass produce Ooh. So let us go. Um, we're gonna mass produce like stuff like fabrics other stuff hmm. so uh, the roofing is done okay oh they just went through the okay that's that's a nice addition let's see we need to get more workers Let's see what we could craft. That's taking up a lot of AI. Deconstructing these ladders and scaffolding. So I hope we won't have 
lag problems in this let's play hopefully and they're hungry there goes the food Maybe game speed 3 will speed things up. So you guys eat your food. And don't worry, this time I'm not gonna go for a tyrannical ruler. I'm gonna be more patient. Which I hope will pay off. There we go, that's the last of the scaffolding. Now we only need is a door. Another place. I don't know. Beds right near the campfire. Why not? Whoop! Invaders approaching. You know what that time it is. Okay, Shrek. You have the highest body. You shall be promoted to foot soldier. And fight off the Stone Golden Menace. Yep. And fight. First thing I want to establish are walls. And the threat has been neutralized. More stone for us. I think it's possible. Wait, does the potter make any tools? Uh, yes, they do. You can have a mason's clay chisel and a herbalist staff. Sounds good. And our people are just gathering around the campfire and singing the campfire song. Okay. Yeah. Space is a bit of a problem. So, here it is. Excuse me. R level 3. Alright. More experience for the potter. Let's maintain about 10 of these at all times. Hmm. Alright, so we got a first house. Let's see, there's nothing else much to do here. I think we're all pretty set for the early game. As long as things go our way. And more storage for us. That's a big base. Then more storage space for us and some beds finally for our heartlings. Things are pretty good. We got stable food supply, some housing, and a safe kingdom at least. So I think that's enough for now. If you guys like my content, like, share, and subscribe. See you guys later. This is Echo Helion signing out.